Well, hi all my friends. Um, I do uh, hope that you're doing uh, better today and doing well. And um, I uh, came across a song and thought, oh yeah, I wonder if I could maybe just try to play that or try to learn it. And I thought I would just kind of share it with you guys because it, it's a very 70s song. And um, uh, it's a three guitar part. Okay, so I can't play all the parts, but um, uh, one, one, one person will play in the beginning, they'll play this. And then another guy might be playing, um, playing America and Ventura Highway because I'm in Ventura and um, this is based off of uh, taking a drive up the Ventura or the PCH1 or um, because it kind of it kind of splits up it goes to the one right along the coast sometimes it goes to the one one or the Ventura Highway and all the way up and down the California coast and um, so just you know driving in your car top down or not uh, wind blowing in your hair and uh, listening to that song it's just so so cool I mean get a kick out of that song and if you notice I have a new guitar uh, this is the uh, <clears throat> Martin D28 uh, rose rosewood um, side and back mahogany neck and um, my sweet lovely wife decided to buy this for me to replace the three guitars that I got rid of to help my brother uh, about a year ago so Anyway, very, very sweet of her to do this, and uh, I, I'm just so very, very blessed to have two wonderful guitars now, and I think that's it. it. I'm not going to let her buy me anything more uh, like that. So, anyway, I just thought I'd go ahead and share that with you, and uh, hopefully make your day a nice day, and um, put this in the case, keep it nice. I still have to get a humidifier for it, which I will do shortly. And uh, anyway, I just thought that uh, that's such a cool song. But it has three, um, like I said, three guitars. And when they're all, you know, playing together in harmony, uh, just, just brilliant guitar work. Uh, whoever came up with some of those little parts 
there that you wouldn't hear individually all the time um, is pretty cool. So anyway, really a nice blessing to have. And I um, uh, wanted to try to get in at least one chapter today um, before we move on to another, uh, I mean, one, did I say chapter? Yeah, chapter. Um, and uh, then we'll be into, here, hold on one second. Okay. So we're at chapter, sorry about all the, <laughs> all the movement of, the, of my iPad here. Sorry about that. Probably made you guys sick. Um, anyway, I, I've been keeping you guys in prayer, and I hope you're keeping me in your prayers. Um, our prayers go up like musical notes to God's ear, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. Anyway, uh, chapter 22 uh, is uh, Josiah's good reign. He provides for the repair of the temple. Hi, hi, um, boy, uh, Hilkiah finds the book of law. Huldah prophesizes Jerusalem's destruction. Um, so a lot of the, uh, the, um, uh, well, anyway, I, I'm not going to go into that. Okay, never mind. Um, Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 30 and one years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jedediah and the daughter of Adaha of Boskath. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. Good. And then walked, uh, excuse me, uh, all the, the way of David his father and turned um, not aside to the right hand or to the left. And so he, you know, walked the straight and narrow, as they say. And it came to pass in the 18th year of King Josiah that the king set Saipan, the son of Azaha, the son of Meshulam, the scribe, beware the scribes, to the house of the Lord, saying, Go up to Hilkiah, the high priest, that he may sum the silver which is brought into the house of the Lord, which the keepers of the door hath gathered of the people. And let them deliver it into the hand of the door of the work and the oversight of the house of the Lord. And let them give it to the doers and the, and the work which is in the house of the Lord to repair the breaches of the house. Unto the carpenters and the builders and masons and to buy the lumber and hew stone to repair the house. Howbeit there was no reckoning made uh, with them of the money that was delivered into their hand because they dealt faithfully. And Ahikiah the high priest um, said unto Shaphan, the scribe, I found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah gave it, gave the book to Saipan, and he read it. And then Saipan, the scribe, came to the king and brought the king word again, and said that servants have gathered the money that was found in the house, and had delivered it to the hand of them that do the work. They have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And Saipan, the scribe, uh, showed the king, saying, Hilkiah, the priest, hath delivered me a book. And Saipan read it before the king. And it came to pass that the king had heard the words of the book of the law, and he rent his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah the priest, and Achaim the son of Saipan, and Achbor the son of Machilah, and Saipan the scribe, and Asahiah, a servant of the king, saying, Go and require of the Lord for me, and for the people and all of Judah concerning the words of this book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against us because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book to do according to all that which is written concerning us. So Hilkiah the priest and Achaim and Achbor and Saipan and Saaha went to Huldah, the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tukva, the son of Haraz, keeper of the wardrobe. Now she dealt in Jerusalem in the college, and they communed with her. 
and said unto them, and she said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Tell the man that sent you to me, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place and upon the inhabitants thereof, even all the words of this book which the king of Judah hath read, because they have forsaken me, and they have burned incense unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place, and shall not be quenched. But the king of Judah sent you to inquire of the Lord, thus shall ye say to them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, as touching the words which thou hast heard. Because thine heart was tender, and thou hast humbled thyself before the Lord, when thou hearest what I spake against this place, against the inhabitants thereof, that they should become a desolate curse, and has rent thy clothes, and wept before me, I also have heard thee, saith the Lord. Behold, therefore I will gather thee unto thy fathers, and thou shalt be gathered unto thy grave in peace, and thy eye shall not see all the evil which I will bring upon this place. And they brought the king word again. Okay, well that's it for that chapter. And we will continue with chapter 23 as we go along this week. And I do hope that you have a wonderful week and that things are looking up and looking better for you. Um, and uh, please be praying and, and use you know prayer to help you and that if we're all in prayer and all of one like mind, and you know, wherever there's two or more gathered, the Lord will be there. And what I like to try to do every morning is get up and pray. <clears throat> and pray for all of those people that are in my life and who I want protected and, and so forth. And you know, how I, I, that's my morning you know, routine, other than you know, just getting freshened up and, and you know, doing my a daily um, things that I need to do um, and you know and having a little breakfast that kind of thing so if we if we all do that all my subscribers get up each morning we pray for each other and we you know uh, pray for his kingdom to come that what is in heaven happens here on earth because I think that that's really what the Lord wants is us to be loving and and um, that's so profound in and of itself is just to love one another and you love one person and another person loves another person another person loves another person before you know it God's kingdom in heaven is here on earth and that's a fact jack you know so um, <laughs> um, and he's got his angels and they're doing their work so I think that would be really a very cool thing to do and then before you know it, we will be, you know, thinking, we'll be telepathing with each other, we'll be praying, and we'll be able to help each other heal and feel better and, um, and do all kinds of wondrous things because everything that we need is right here on earth. We just have not tapped into it like we should have been doing. And once you love everyone and everyone is accepted, everyone, okay, no matter, I don't care who it is, everybody. Uh, no matter what your sin was, I don't care what your sin was, okay? Um, yes, we have laws and things like that, but you are forgiven by Jesus Christ, and that's, that's the truth, okay? So as long as I can forgive you and you can forgive me, then we're, we're good to go, okay? So, but you have to really mean it in your heart. Your heart's intent is what the Lord knows, and you can't hide that from God, Okay, you cannot hide your heart's intent. So just, um, you know, th there's just thoughts that I wanted to share with you this morning along with the music. So anyway, have a great week. Be in prayer and pray for each other. And I love you and we'll talk to you again soon. All right, bye-bye.